Hello everyone, you were asking me to do some canapes. So today I'm gonna show you my lifetime favorite ones. One sweet and one savory. So let's do it. And let's start with sweet variation, which will be sweet bread on the bottom and then cream cheese, blueberry gel and blueberries on the top. So let's make the bread. I mix milk, fresh yeast, sugar, cinnamon, star anise, eggs, plain flour and salt in the bowl and I will mix it on low speed for around 10 minutes. Then I can add my soft butter and I will keep mixing until it's the butter incorporated properly. And at this stage, you can just make a nice ball and leave it under the clear film to double the size. And in the meantime, I will make easy blueberry gel. So I mix blueberry juice, star anise and sugar in the pot. The amount of the sugar you can do depends on your juice. I bring it to the boil and add agar powder. I am doing 400 ml of juice, so I will add 4 grams of agar. Cook it for 3 minutes and leave it to set in the fridge. And the last decoration I have to prepare for the sweet canapes will be cream cheese with vanilla. So I mix cream cheese, sugar and vanilla and I will whisk it until everything gets combined and smooth. You can play with the amount of sugar how you like and of course also add different spices. In the end, I transfer it into the piping bag and I leave it inside the fridge for later. At this time, it's bread ready for the next step, so I take it out from the bowl and I will make shape for my mold. I'm using a classic bread shape mold, but you can also use different ones. and I cover it again with a clean film and I leave it to rise second time. So the bread needs some time now, so let's start with savory variation, which will be easy toast bread chips with chicken salad with parmesan and tomato concasse and on the top garlic mayo and hazelnuts. So let's start with chicken salad. I have here some chicken breast, so I just season it and sear it on the pan. And of course, this is time for my food inspector, who can smell a meat even from different country. You can also bake it inside the oven or with different technique, it's not a big deal. Just make sure the chicken is cooked and leave it to cool down on the side. The next thing I need for the salad is tomato concasse. So I will blanch tomato for 30 seconds and then peel the skin. After that, I take out the seeds and middle part and from the rest I will cut nice dices. And the tomato concasse is done. Fast check with my food inspector, but looks like he doesn't like tomatoes. An important component of the salad is also a mayo. So I mix egg yolk and mustard in the bowl, and I will keep adding all slowly in. When you are happy with the thickness, you can season it. I will use salt, pepper and lemon juice. Just be careful with the salt, because I want to add parmesan later on. I want to add also 
an egg inside. So I just cook in one egg for 10 minutes, peeled it and later on I will grate it inside the salad. Meat is cold now so I can easily shred it. You can do it with a hand or with a knife. And let's complete it. I mix my chicken with egg, parmesan, chives, mayo and the concasse at the end so I'm not gonna destroy the shape that much. You can check if you need more salt and you can leave it inside the fridge for later. And now let's finish the bread. As you can see the bread is nice and big. So I transfer it carefully inside the oven and I bake it at 180 degrees Celsius for around 30 minutes. And at the same time I will bake garlic in the tin foil. For the base of this canapé I will use simple toast bread croutons. So I will cut a nice shape with a pastry link and sear them with the butter in the pan until I get nice color and crispiness. The bread is ready, nice and golden. So I take it out from the oven. Also take it out from the mold and leave it to cool down. And in the meantime, I finish my gel. So I transfer it to the blender, blend it for a few minutes and get it ready inside the bottle for the plating. Bread is around room temperature, so let's cut it. I will make small cubes like this, but you can adjust the size and shape for your situation. I want to make it crispy, so I just bake it inside the oven at 200 Celsius until I get nice color around. The last thing I have to finish is my garlic mayo. So I take my baked garlic, mash it a bit with a knife and mix it with my basic mayo. For my garnish, I want to use fresh blueberries and hazelnuts, so I just cut blueberries in the half and hazelnuts roughly. And now I have finally everything ready, so let's complete it. For the plating, I will use this beautiful plate from today's sponsor, Apollo Box. These guys have so many beautiful plates, so if you want to take your plating to the next level, I recommend you to get a few nice ones, so you can get proper plating training and get used to, to different shapes and colors. If you use coupon code M20, you will get 20% dollars off on your order. Check out more details in the description below. And now let's finish the canapés. So I start with my crispy toast bread and I put my exclusive chicken salad in the middle. The top I will decorate with garlic mayo, hazelnuts and nasturtium leaves. And for the sweet variation, I start with crispy sweet bread and on the top vanilla cream cheese, blueberry gel, fresh blueberries and small leaves of mint. And that's it guys, 
Now you know how to make my all time favorite canapes at home. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to leave me here thumbs up. And if you want to get another inspiration for canapes, check out this video and learn how you can make my favorite New Year's Eve canapes at home. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.